So how do they truly feel about you? Let's start off with a tarot card. We have the Seven of Wands. And the messages from the heart cards. Social media. Let's look at their emotions. We have hot. And let's look at a message card as well. We're going to look at lots more of all of these cards as we go through this reading. I'm coming to you quickly. The Eight of Wands. This person, they definitely feel a lot of passion towards you. This is a fiery energy. There's so much red in this reading. Um, the train is red. The train... I'm just seeing like an image of a train going through a tunnel. So there's that innuendo there. I'm coming to you quickly. That could be an innuendo as well. This is their energy racing towards you. They, they're in the flow, okay? They feel energized by you, by their thoughts of you. They're constantly thinking about you. Their heart is racing. They're soaring with like these intense desires, so much passion, they definitely want to create more with you. There could be a separation, okay? This is like a farewell. Um, it could be a third party situation for some of you. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. I'm just noticing three people in this social media card as well, but it doesn't have to mean that. But there was some sort of farewell. Seven of Wands. There could be some defensiveness here. There could be some fears a bit about being totally open and vulnerable because um everything's just so intense okay there could be nervousness with this hot like someone um getting embarrassed or like self-conscious let's look more deeply this is really so intense it's like we have the seven and eight of wands it's like they feel knocked off their feet or swept off of their feet look she's almost you know he's embracing her and um yeah, this person's like, they're swept off their feet. So seven of wands, it's like they're a bit defensive because um, it feels so intense. It's like turning the world upside down, but it in a good way, it like makes them feel very, very excited. Um, and then it moves into the eight of wands. That's that rapid energy. It's like their heart racing, their blood flowing their energy racing towards you. There could be a lot of telepathy in your connection. How else do they truly feel? Yeah, they they feel caught caught up in some kind of way. But this is the hanged man. And interestingly, it's in the reverse position. I don't normally read reversals anymore on my channel. Um, but this one actually is in reverse. And so to me, this makes me think of Houdini the great escapist or, you know, whatever his title was. Um, so th this is your person. They do feel very stuck in their life in terms of they feel caught up in certain roles, certain obligations, social matrix, basically. I'm noticing a, a lot of these locks are hearts, <laughs> interestingly, but... They're suspending themselves in your connection. They're thinking about you all of the time. This is, I did say their world's been turned totally upside down, but this is them actually thriving in the spiritual aspect of your connection. Um, they're seeing everything from a totally different perspective and they absolutely love this. They're feeling high, okay? You know, just imagine being turned upside down or the blood rushing to their head. Um, but yeah, this is, even though they feel constrained in 3D life and the roles that we have to play or we're pressured into playing and living our lives a certain way, when it comes to you, they feel, they do feel free um, internally. It's like an in internal experience because I do feel there's some sort of separation in the 3D, but there's no such thing as separation in the 5D. So they're diving deeply into this connection. With this social media card, it says spying on you, communicating online, stalking, obsession. 
So they're definitely watching you from afar. They do feel like this connection could be on hold in some kind of way, but I feel like there's divine timing. It's like they want to race towards you, but they're tied up. They can't. But with this train track here, your connection, you, they feel like you're on a different timeline now. You're on a, a spiritual path. It's really amazing. How else do they truly feel? Here's that red again, the passion. This is justice. And we have, wow, the Ten of Cups. So this is a balanced love. It shows the top hat and the bouquet. It's like a divine marriage here. This is a soul contract, okay? Normally it represents legal contracts. It could be someone who's married here, but I'm seeing it as like a soul contract. This is justice. It's um, They feel like this is the love that they deserve. They feel like this is the love that you deserve. But again, this makes me think of Romeo and Juliet. Obstacles in the way of your 3D connection, but nonetheless, a deep and intoxicating love. Um, very spiritual. Ten of Cups to me represents the soul family. So I often say this, but I really feel that if you're in a physical separation, your souls agreed upon the circumstances through which you would meet and what would happen. And that physical separation is making you both go inwards to feel the union, to feel the truth, because this earth plane is only a temporary experience. You're really the soul, the infinite soul. We come here to learn about duality. We learn lessons, light and shadow. We appreciate the light, the love and bliss all the more through going through shadow as well. So um, it's like your souls agree to meet in this these circumstances for there to be the appearance of separation, but to ultimately make you realize that there isn't separation. You're the two sides of this scale, or two sides of the same coin, yin yang. This is moving you beyond the illusions of duality into oneness. This is complete emotional fulfillment. This is soul level fulfillment. You are their dream come true. And again, this justice is the love that they've always been seeking, the love that they deserve, the love that you deserve, and it's true love. We're seeing at the bottom of the deck, more red, Knight of Wands. Again, the passion, the fire, the energy. They, they find you very attractive on all levels. So let's look at some more of these messages from the heart cards. They're true feelings for you right now. <clears throat> yeah, daydreamer, they're fantasizing about you. Look, escapism, because they do feel constrained in this human form. Um, dream, they have, dr they could be literally dreaming about you, having like really intense dreams, but they have dreams and goals for the future with you, between you both. Desires, it says they're passive, not taking action in the 3D. This connection is ungrounded at this time, but a lot of things are manifesting, um, over time. <clears throat> this person, they feel like they can't take action. Because of 3D obstacles. At the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing love potion. They're head over heels for you. They're in love. They're infatuated, obsessed, hooked. They find you irresistible. They're captivated by you. But I always notice the cork on top of this um, love potion. So their emotions are somewhat bottled up. There's a lot of chemistry, though. So much desire. <clears throat> Just a... An insane level of magnetism. This is your souls really, really pull, pulling you out of duality into oneness. And that is consciousness. How else do they truly feel? Innocent. They love your purity. Um, and this is their energy as well. There's a lot of, un it's unconditional love. It's pure love. Um, your hearts are in the right place. 
naive, childlike, pure intentions, inexperienced. Mean well, you can trust them. You're coming back to the realization of your true angelic nature, your infinite souls. I do feel like you're light workers. This person, they have a very pure energy and they absolutely love your pure energy as well because you're the same. You're the same resonance. This person, they could be in their shell somewhat, slow moving, clammed up, silent, slow and steady, withdrawn, introverted, shy, insecure, but very wise. It's an old soul, okay? This shell was created most likely within both of you from a very early age because you're these high dimensional beings and you needed this shell of protection because you're highly sensitive, um, very psychic here. So let's look at some more of their emotions, how they're truly feeling right now. Confused. Let's clarify this with a tarot card. What is this confusion about exactly? Two are coming out here. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, interestingly. So this is all about stability, independence. This is what they daydream about, okay? This is what they feel your souls are doing as well. Because you're multidimensional, you exist in different dimensions at the same time. And again, there's no such thing as separation in these higher dimensions. <clears throat> but nine of pentacles, they feel very independent with you. They're, I'm hearing they feel like their true self. They feel independent from... Um, all the, the struggle, the strain, the obligations of day-to-day -day life. They feel like they can let their hair down and just be carefree. This is them working hard, eight of pentacles on your connection. Um, I do feel like sometimes their fears get the better of them and it creates confusion because when we're in the overactive mind, the fearful mind, we can't see clearly. We can't tap into our intuition clearly. But let's clarify what they're confused about. They are missing you, okay? They're yearning for you, reminiscing about amazing times you share together. They feel a lot of sadness, heartbreak. They're longing for you. They're pining for you. They're wanting to be close again. I feel like this confusion could be they're trying to figure out why at times that there's these complications or they're just trying to tap into their intuition and see what they're supposed to be doing so let's look at some more of their emotions they feel pure unconditional love it's so intense it makes them feel joyous euphoric and they've got a skipping their step <laughs> i don't think that's the right saying um they have a smile on their face this is their heart their soul shining they are glowing with this love just so much chemistry so much electricity they're thirsty for you okay i feel like your person was lacking or they felt like they were lacking when it comes to love or there was some sort of drought um, there was some sort of stagnation and their soul was thirsting for this divine reunion with their soulmate, which is you or twin flames. <clears throat> but yeah, they are thirsty. They just want more and more and more. You make them feel so happy, so joyous. Again, they are glowing. So let's look at some more of these messages cards. What would they say to you right now about their true feelings if they could? I love you with all of my heart and soul, the King of Cups. I'm too scared to face up to it. So yeah, they, they definitely feel constrained, like in a 3D in some kind of way. Um, and they feel like they, they can't free themselves from this. But there's this freedom energetically, Eight of Wands is that infinity symbol, your infinite bond, their energy coming towards you all the time. They love you completely with all of their heart and soul. I feel like there's karma or soul lessons, soul agreements that they're going through in other situations. And we have, I'm going for it, the full card. This is them leaping towards you. This is their going through a completely brand new beginning. 
this is the zero card um it comes after the world which is tying up um it's like a conclusion card when they met you it's like totally changed their life totally changed their perspective and their world and yeah you're both on this journey together the fool's journey the fool basically travels through all of the energies of all the tarot cards um, this is the journey you're both on. It's really amazing. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look even deeper into how does this person truly feel about you. We're going to look into lots of messages cards as well. What would they say to you right now if they could, if there was no fears, obstacles or ego standing in the way? How do they really feel? And we're going to look at what is going to unfold between you both as well. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So I really hope to see you over there. If this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. And I hope to see you over on the extended.